You think I'd learn after leaving the world of light? To wait and see if I have another character to fight. But it's nice. Hmm. Goodbye, Sonic. I said goodbye, Sonic. Jeez. Third time's a charm. <laughs> is okay there goes a bomberman spirit right there right here it's right next to palatina and i think an assist trophy but i'm not going to use my hammer collect 777 unique spirits I might as well talk about this. Apparently you can open up spirits going through all this stuff. As you can see, depending on the uh, board where you play, you can open up new stuff. I let my nephew get in some practice. So he was playing on Smash and he opened up a good chunk of characters. I think he's gonna be a little bit happier knowing that um, I got Sonic on board. But oh my goodness, social media, you guys are not you guys are not fully excited about the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog live action movie poster. And I'll be honest with you, it looks terrible. You know, it's like Hollywood, you really should not have done that. In 2016, you had a nice little, uh, wow, that's a good dodge. In 2016, you had a really sweet looking thing with Sonic by the ring. And now you do all this super furry and it's like, a mixture of actually no it's not like a mixture of anything what it reminds me of is a low rent Sonic the Werehog you know how Sonic the Werehog was super duper furry I think that's what they were going for with the look they showed off the looks for Sonic and Tails and Tails looks terrible Get 30,000 spirit points. Okay, that's going to be good to know. Obtain a legend class by using summon. Alright. Well, there's the villager watering some Pikmin. Enhance, five, enhance a spirit five times and level up. Alright, that's interesting. And then playing the classic mode, you can get some spirits. And I will admit one thing. In light of the fact that we no longer have trophies. Get one and a one and two fifths million or more points in the credits. You have to do that as the inkling. That might be interesting. Uh, who's this? That's Kangaroo. I think it doesn't say as Inkling because this one says as K Rule. Alright. Play eight total rounds of team battle. In classic mode? Interesting. Clear the highest intensity, obviously. Defeat Ganon. Alright. Clear. Clear intensity three or higher. We know we're gonna do that. KO twenty KO twenty fire emblem fighters. KO twenty Pokemon. Obtain five recovery items in classic mode. All this stuff is gonna be interesting. 
but it's nice to know that we can get more, uh, get three KOs in Cruel Smash solos. <sighs> Ugh. I hated those. I always hated doing the requirements where you have to get so many in Cruel Smash. I'm gonna hate that. At least it's three and not five. Play Century Smash alone and clear it within four minutes. That's doable. Ken, as Ken clears Sentry Smash alone using a special move. Alright, we'll do that with Shoryuken. Or at least try to. Alright. Spirits for online play. And then the regular stuff. Purchase an item on a Sunday sale in the vault. Huh. I could have actually did that over the weekend. Create three Mii Fighters. Create a playlist. Okay, that's not bad. Get ten types of Mii headgear. Well, I have one thanks to the Fighters Pass. Um, have, a ga have the game powered on for a total of 20 hours. Alright. A lot of sevens on Spirit Points. Have access to 750... 750 or more tracks and sounds and get 10 types of me outfits. Well, I got one, so nine to go. Figured I'd look at this stuff here. Honestly, this is like, hmm. To those of you who are wondering how the challenge board in Smash debuted, I'm going to explain how this worked. This actually, I believe, it started in melee, but we didn't have all this stuff to do. But more prominent to do this board, it was in Brawl. Now the idea from the idea of this comes from Kirby Air Ride, because the checklist was actually this little gridded area. They did this first in Kirby Air Ride. They did it again in Kid Icarus Uprising, which had the multiple ones. And, you know, they're incorporating it into Smash Brothers. So, it went Kirby Air Ride, Smash Brothers Brawl, Kid Icarus Uprising, then Smash Brothers Wii U 3DS, and now Ultimate. So, it's good to know that they're having all of this go down. But, that's all I'm going to do for this particular video. I'll probably tack it on to the previous little round. Thank you. God, I'm done with fighting Bayonetta, man, because that was irritating. How I'm going to get through the Lucina and Shulk fight is going to be a pain. Alright, you guys. Time to me to get up out of here. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.